Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you how admin can change the status. So here you can see the status is in progress. So admin can change it. So let's add the option. Let's go to the browser, uh, sorry, curator, <laughs> not browser, okay. And here in the resources, then views, then admin folder, we have view appointment space. And here you can see we have status. So we are going to add here option. So uh, we need a form uh, for this, okay. So to do this, we can actually, so I can actually do it using, you know, a uh, link, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, add an option here. So I'll say option. Oh, okay. Uh, before that, we have to actually say here section. Uh, sorry, uh, we have to say here select, right? Yeah. And then inside select, we have option. So option. And here value, we have to paste this status. So this is the default value. And we actually add here one more option. Okay. And that would be, let's say, uh, our default, I mean, our value, I mean, we'll actually give here. So let's change it to, let's say, in progress. So we can actually say here, accept. Okay. Accept. And here also accept. And let's name it as option let's or uh, let's say status. Status. And we don't need to actually give her IDs. We will not uh, show her any JavaScript or anything. So you can actually give her it or not. And here we are going to actually say uh, that's it. Okay. And now here we have to add a form because we need to actually uh, send it to a new page. So I'm going to cut this from uh, in option from here and I'll paste it here. That's it. So we have to actually keep it inside a PD also, right? So I have to actually cut the you know closing point and let's add it here. Let's give here a space, little space. Okay. And in the action, I'm going to give the route name. But before that, it would be a post method. And here we're going to um, add a route. Okay, let's add a route. I'll say route with a name, and it would be let's say change status. And here we have to actually send the ID also because we need to know that which uh, I mean which. Uh, column actually want to change or which row actually want to change right maybe we can have multiple value in our database if i go to the hospital if i go to the appointments here you can see we have here only one value maybe we can have multiple value so we have the primary key id right if i go to the structure you can see so we'll actually access through id so i'll say here that dollar appointment we have column name id so we are uh, passing the id with it okay to the route so let's copy this and let's go to the web.php in the routes we have web.php and here we are going to add a route let's set the route as so yeah it's a post route i'm going to copy any of the post route let's say this one so copy it let's change the name control oops let's change the name only okay yeah, and then the URL also, and we have the ID also, right? Then admin controller, and then it will go for the function that is change status. So let's go to the admin controller and let's uh, create a function mm -hmm. for this. So app HTTP controllers, admin controllers, and here we're going to add function public function function name. We know we have passed an ID in the URL, so dollar id now we are going to find the you know appointment table uh that uh, that row okay through the id so appointment uh is equal to i will say appointment equal on find or fail and then here we'll actually pass the id now it will actually find uh, the ID to it, and now we'll say just only we'll change the status. Okay, so what is the column name? Is here you can see status. 
So we'll say head status and we'll say uh, okay. So this is the uh, submission form also. So we have to tell him pass a request also, right? Request dollar request. So now we will uh, get the field value through this request variable. And here we are going to mention the field variable and there is status. So let's go paste it here. And now I will say dollar appointment field. And it will actually return the redirect um, back. Yes, and here you can see so let's go there and here you can see this is the option okay fine okay done now let's check how it looks like so let's go back to the code and refresh and here you can see we have an option here uh, in progress and accept so the current state is in progress we can actually uh, give her a column uh, th i mean we can add here one more th and i can say here that action so if i refresh and now it's look good so if i say accept and okay i forgot to add here a submit button so let's go add here a submit button and i will say input input and type it with submit it would be submit value also let's say submit or let's say change change state yes. now refresh all right here we have changed so we can actually add here a break it goes to the new line and here it is or maybe we can actually keep it in the same line but let's just Give it a class, okay? Bootstrap class, BG, BG. Refresh, and you can see change status. We can actually, uh, you know, give her some style, and that is, let's say, we can save that. Adding, it's too much. Oh, sorry, it's a five pixel. The refresh and it's look good and now let's say uh, it's now i want to actually change it to accept so if i click on change status it should be accept but yes the problem is with this one at csrf token now let's go back and if i uh, submit the form once again it will not work okay refresh you can see in progress now i will change it to accept change status it should change you can see accept now the current status accept accept okay so the problem is you can see now we have to accept so let's uh you know change it okay so what i'm going to do is we have to actually add here one more option and that is for what that is for let's say the current status uh i mean uh, this will be for in progress Okay, uh, so if I say here now, let's say I want to refresh and now in progress, change the status. Uh, it should be in progress. So what is the, what is happening here? Uh, and uh, we have a value accept. Okay, so this is the problem. So we have to actually say here that in progress, in progress, fresh. I want to say in progress change status and it should be in progress it's now if i say accept change status that's it, so that's it guys uh maybe we can actually remove the first one also okay. so we don't need it because we have already shown it here right here in this status so we don't need to actually add it we we'll just keep only two options accept and in progress so refresh now here you can see in progress if i change the status it will be in progress now if i say accept your send change status it is accepted okay guys so that's it this is how admin can change the status okay so i hope uh, this video is helpful for you please make sure to give a like okay and subscribe to the channel for more videos thank you so much for watching